Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad with your weekly planner. Now, I'm not going to focus a lot of time on temperatures for this week because for the most part, no major heat wave or no major real cool down. Pretty close to normal. There'll be some fluctuations on temperatures, but the big story for this upcoming week will be precipitation, and I'll be talking about that here in just a second. But first, though, let's talk about your Monday's temperatures. Very hot across the, uh, the southeast, a little bit cooler across the most of the country, actually, stretching from the Great Lakes almost all the way to the west coast, with the exception of California. But again, a couple places where temperatures will be a little bit above normal. But normal for this time of year now, highs in the 70s across the Great Lakes, with temperature lows down into the 50s which is really quite comfortable. Jumping right to Wednesday, you notice a little bit of a warm up there in the central U.S., but for the most part, not too much going on. You do see a little bit of yellows there in the central U.S., and that will be in response to some clouds and some rain for you there, and uh, relatively chilly up into the New England states. By Friday, you see a pretty good area of cooler temperatures across the uh, the southeast and that's going to be in response to a possible tropical storm hurricane if you will i'll be talking about that here in just a second a little bit warmer up into the high plains that's just because you're going to be drying out somewhat for you there all right let's talk precipitation all right, this is for your Monday. Now, of course, uh, the other day I talked about the fact that we have a pretty good drought going on in portions of Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and even portions of Kentucky. You're going to see a lot of rain coming in on your Monday and Tuesday in this area, and that's good news. We do certainly need the rain, but those of you west of the Mississippi, pretty dry for the most part could be looking at some potential for some severe weather. Nothing, uh, a wide outbreak of severe weather, but something nevertheless we kind of have to keep an eye on. As you go in on Tuesday, notice this area really expanding again across the areas where we do need the rain. So this is certainly some good news, but again, pretty uh, quiet across most of the country, and that's on your Tuesday. Here we go on your Wednesday. Notice what pops out here. Down in the Gulf of Mexico, there is a potential for a pretty good sized system. I'll be talking about that a little bit later. Uh, behind that front that will bring in those showers uh, and possibly thunderstorms for the Great Lakes region on your Tuesday, Wednesday at the base of it. We could be looking at another spin up. Could be seen some severe weather there. Pretty dry west with the exception of the Pacific Northwest. By Thursday, here it comes. You see that system moving on up. Now, again, the models are having a hard time exactly where to place this system. I do expect it to become a hurricane. It could be a very strong hurricane. And the models now, especially the one I like, the GFS, is really focusing on the, uh, the panhandle of Florida or the Big Bend area. But anyone from New Orleans to the east down towards the peninsula of Florida have to be on high alert with this system because it continues still to bounce around. The other models now are starting to show a little bit more consistency, potentially a landfall in the northern portions of Florida. And again, this could be a fairly impressive, very large system. By Friday, it moves up into the Tennessee Valley, could bring some flooding rains across most of the, the southeast Florida. You're really going to get hit with a lot of rain. If you don't get a direct hit in the peninsula of Florida, you're looking at a lot of rainfall for you there and potentially some severe weather as we head back into the southern plains. And then we head on into your uh, Saturday. We're looking for some more showers in the middle of the country, but points towards the west pretty dry. And then we kind of uh, get a little bit quieter across the southeast. But again, this is the tropics, and we're looking for some pretty good activity from that standpoint. Here is a wider look of the tropics itself. We see some areas of interest. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Good sized system out in the Atlantic here in the Gulf we could be seeing another homegrown system. And this is for next Sunday. This is, should validate around midday on next Sunday. So we have to keep an eye on that. But for the most part, here in the short term, rain, much needed rain for the Midwest to help eliminate some of the drought there. And watch out for later on this week. I'll have some more updates for you. Certainly, as the Gulf of Mexico could get very, very active, and as we could see a pretty good size, potentially a major hurricane, slamming into the northern Gulf of Mexico. Have a great week, everyone. I'm George, the Weather Dad.